We have a remarkable diversity of vaccine products using a wide array of technologies, and that's emerging from a, a, a global effort that is broad and deep. The vaccine development effort against COVID is, is the biggest global vaccine development effort undertaken. There have been over 300 vaccine development projects. We need a lot of vaccine very, very quickly. So having multiple vaccine products will, will help us increase the number of doses that are available as quickly as possible. We also need vaccines that serve the needs of all populations in, in all geographies. Having a one dose vaccine, as, as we now do with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, provides tremendous advantages for over two dose vaccines. Some formulations of vaccines, such as vaccines that could be taken by mouth or administered intranasally, might be easier to use. Finally, we're going to need vaccines as, as we are now seeing, the virus is continuing to evolve. So we're, we're going to have to have vaccines potentially that can respond to these new mutations. I'm concerned because if variants emerge that could completely evade the immune response or our existing vaccines, that would basically set us back at the beginning. What we don't know yet is how these variants and in fact, COVID-19 in general is going to behave epidemiologically over the next several years. And it, and it may turn out that multiple variants are circulating at the same time. If that's the case, then to protect people, we'll have to protect them potentially against more than one variant. I'd say the ones that work. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually very excited about all of the vaccine products. I think looking towards the future, the success that we have seen with the mRNA vaccines is particularly exciting because it opens up a whole new array of possibilities for vaccine development.